Yo, what's going on guys? Flames in here. Today I will be doing some technical analysis and also a price prediction on the graph or GRT. If you would like to make up to $1,000 for free in Bitcoin, just join the Maxi Global link in the description. And also if you'd like to make up to $250 for free in Bitcoin, just join the BlockFi link in the description as well. Now just sit back and enjoy. Okay, so we're starting off here looking at GRT versus USDT on the 12 hour. And as you can see, we have actually come down and retested this lower end of this falling wedge that I did have drawn up here. Now we have come down and made new lows compared to back here on the 13th of July. But we are coming up and retesting this. As you can see, we've had two wicks into it there over the past couple of days. And we are currently sitting above our 8 EMA. Now something that I would like to see here would be a nice bounce up, break above this level, come back down, hold the retest because that would be fairly confident with that 50 moving average as well. If we do manage to hold this horizontal level as well as the 50 moving average, then I would be expecting a move up to retest these range lows that we have talked about here. If we do manage to come up here, we probably will see a rejection. We may see a move back down towards this level before coming up and retesting it again. But if we do manage to break through this lower range and flip this back to support, then I would say that we should at least be targeting our mid range here sitting at around 11.8 cents. Now to do that, obviously we do need to break this trend line here. So if you do come up, you would see maybe a rejection off that back down, hold this level, come back up and finally get that breakout on the retest. And then we should be continuing on up towards this mid range. Now, if we do manage to see something like that from current prices, that would be around a 41% gain. And then if we do manage to come up here and flip this mid range to support, then obviously the next level that you would be targeting would be this upper range level at around 14.4 cents. And if we do manage to see that, that would be around a 72% move to those highs. So realistically, all you can do is look at this and play it level by level. Anything other than that is just guessing. You do need to wait for the confirmations. If you do come back, regain this lower range, then obviously that is a good trigger to long, at least towards that mid range. You could be taking some profits around there, maybe flipping short back down towards the lower range. But BTC is doing quite well right now. I would expect GRT to push back up in towards this range and hopefully push up higher. Now, if we do see a push towards the downside, obviously BTC say it breaks down and starts pushing towards those 14K levels that I have previously mentioned, if we do lose that 17.6K mark. Now, if that does happen, how you would sort of look to see where altcoins may be going, you could take a fib here from that previous low that we did just make there, bring it on up towards that previous high, and then we would be looking at some of our FIB extensions. So say we do reject off these lows that we made there back in July, come down here, retest this level. We don't manage to hold, get the bearish retest on our falling wedge there, and then lose these lows again. I would be expecting a move down towards this 382 here at around 4.29 cents. So that is where you could be placing yourself some buy orders. I would expect a nice bounce, maybe even back up towards this level if we do come down here maybe something like a v-shape recovery pushing back up towards this level obviously regaining our falling wedge there it would just be a deviation to the lower side and then we could continue up but if btc does continue down towards 14k the levels that i would probably be targeting would be at around this 1.618 here at around 2.23 cents so you could be laddering your buy orders there from around 4.3 cents down to around 2.3 cents so definitely keep your eye on these levels. If we do manage to break towards the upside, regain our lower range, then I would be expecting higher. And if we do manage to break down and lose these previous lows, then I would be expecting 4.3 cents at least. Now, if we do move over here and take a quick look here at GRT versus BTC, we have covered this a good few times. So taking a look at what I did draw up there in our previous video, if we did manage to come up here and regain this lower range that I did talk about, I said we should be expecting to retest these lows at around 390 sats. As you can see, that has played out perfectly there. We have come down and retested that level. Now we did deviate slightly below it there. That's not actually perfect, there we go. So yeah, we did actually have a 12 bar close below it, but we did manage to push up here, regain that as well as our 8 EMA. Now we are currently below it on this candle right now. We may come back down, retest this level before sort of coming up, flipping our 8 EMA to support and then continuing higher. But I would say this is probably a good place to have some buy orders right now, as we could see at least a move back up to retest that lower range. Now towards the downside, we could run a fib again. Let's take a look at this. So if we take our fib from this bottom up towards this high, 
as you can see our 1.618 there is sitting at around 290 sats so if we do actually properly lose these lows this could just be a deviation and then we could continue on up back towards at least this upper range but say we do just fall below this get the proper bearish retest and then continue on down a good place to have yourself some buy orders would be at around 290 sats and if we do manage to get a bounce off this level obviously take some profits around 400 sats and then 442 and then even 504 that would be my tp1 tp2 and then your tp3 now if we do manage to come down here and lose this 3 to get the bearish retest on this then another level that you could be looking at there would be around this 1.618 at around 228 sats so that is our bullish and bearish case covered for grt we'll actually quickly move up here to the usdt pair again and take a look at the daily chart and have a look at some of our moving averages here we go uh, we'll move over here to the daily and as you can see our 200 moving average there is sitting at around that range high there at around 14 and a half cents so honestly by the time we do get towards that level i would expect a retest of the 200 moving average we haven't actually done that since what we fell below it there in december 2021 so it has been a good amount of time since we have retested that level so if we do manage to come up here get the breakout of this falling wedge obviously a continuation up towards this side say we do just follow this line that i did drop or even this one here so we come up regain this level then we do get the breakout off here and then start pushing on up by the time we do start to get here our 200 moving average should be sitting at around this level we could see a slight deviation above it there get the retest maybe have a fake out of this level come back down then lose our 200 moving average and continue down there and that would be the bearish retest on it there so in my opinion a good place to take some profits is definitely around 14 and a half cents there you could maybe even start scaling out at around 11.8 cents as i did say at that mid-range but a level that i would be flipping short set is, is sort of to play out here a good place to open some short trades would be that lower high compared to back here and the bearish retest of our upper range there and if you do miss this move then coming down here and losing that 200 moving average again and a bearish retest on the mid-range would be another good level to open some shorts now we'll quickly move on over here to coin market cap and take a quick look at this just sort of the fundamentals and the tokenomics so if we take a look here the graph is currently sitting at rank number 71 we're at 8.334 cents we're up 2.94 percent there in the last 24 hours our market cap is 575 million our circulating supply is 6.9 billion and that is 69 percent of our max supply which is 10 billion now if we move down here our all-time high is currently sitting at around two dollars and 88 cents and that was on february 12th 2021 and we are currently down 97.1 percent from those highs now if you do want to do a small read you can have a read through coin market caps right up here just pause the video or if you would like to do a little bit more fundamental research you can move on over here to their website which is thegraph.com over here you'll find out everything that you need to know to help you make your decision on whether you would actually like to invest in this so if you do come over here and figure that you do actually want to pick yourself some up you can move back on over to coin market cap click on markets and this will show you where you can actually do so now i hope you did enjoy if you did please leave a like comment subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out i love you all peace